Dear viewers, my Facebook and YouTube channel were created on your special request in 2020 amid of COVID-19 pandemic. You are requested to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. Are you worried about your child's wet dreams? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Dr. Zafir with you and you are watching my informative vlog on YouTube channel. Wet dreams, also known as nocturnal emissions. And I am sure most of us must have come across with this situations. Nothing to be ashamed. It's a spontaneous orgasms and ejaculation that occur during sleep. They are a natural part of sexual development and typically happen during puberty, but they can occur at any age. They often result from sexual dreams or hormonal changes and are generally considered normal and not a cause for concern. Wet dreams typically start during puberty, which for boys usually begins around the age of 10 to 14 years, but it can vary. Generally, they occur at any time during adolescence and sometimes even into adulthood. Wet dreams are generally considered a normal part of sexual development and are not a cause for concern. They are a natural occurrence and often indicate that the reproductive systems functioning normally. However, if someone is experiencing excessive or bothersome occurrence of wet dreams or has concerns, it might be helpful to consult with healthcare professional for guidance and reassurance. Wet dreams or nocturnal emissions can occur in girls as well, although they are less common and typically not as noticeable as in boys. In girls, these occurrences might involve vaginal lubrication or increased blood flow to the pelvic area during sleep, but they don't typically involve ejaculation as in boys. Just like in boys, these experiences are a normal part of sexual development and are usually related to hormonal changes during puberty. So parents should not be worried. Parents play a crucial role in supporting their children through puberty and related changes, including wet dreams. It's important for parents to create open and understanding environment where their children feel comfortable discussing these natural occurrences without judgment or embarrassment. Parents can provide accurate information about wet dreams, reassure their children that these experiences are normal and offer guidance on personal hygiene. Additionally, they can encourage open communication be available to answer questions and offer emotional support to help their children navigate these changes confidently. If there are concerns or the child seems distressed, parents can consider seeking advice from healthcare professionals. Overall, providing a supportive and understanding atmosphere can greatly help children manage and understand wet dreams. So the take home message for parents are, number one, wet dreams are normal occurrence. Number two, it is a sign of normal pubertal changes. Number three, neither you can stop it nor you can avoid it. Number four, before bedtime, Avoid watching movies and reading articles that contain about sex and viewing nude pictures. I hope 
this information is enough for you to guide your children. Stay blessed. Thanks for watching my informative vlog on Facebook and YouTube channel. If you like this video, please subscribe and share.